Yo, what's going on guys? This is Miasen and welcome to my Ancient Warriors combo video. So I have nothing else to say before we start. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Alright, so combo number one is basically just tanky. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not really a combo, but it can also be this guy. Like, I, I don't really know the name. Masterful, Master Sun Mu, whatever. And any card that you are willing to discard. So, as you can see, there is just nothing special or interesting to note outside of the fact that you can summon... Uh, Zuch Kong, which is a wind, so and it's a level four, because when you search it with uh, Sun Mu, you can either like uh, you can actually add it to your hand, but this uh, the effect of Zuch Kong allows you to special summon it, so it's sick. Actually, it's uh, either a rank four or the link two, so that's where you're gonna see. And then the link two actually gets you a follow up or this really powerful continuous spell. Uh, so yeah, I mean I, w I won't be doing too much in this replay, but it's just showcasing uh, like the, the like the strength of just a single tanky because. A lot of people actually just uh, might think that the, um, you know, the monsters are like complete bricks, like going first. But that is not necessarily the case. Like, even with just one card, you can actually do uh, some pretty interesting plays. So, yeah, that was kind of it for quote-unquote combo number one. Now, let's get to the good part. Alright, so now when we actually draw the continuous spell, so three visits with Sun Mu, we can actually do quite more. Actually, we can we can do a pretty big, uh, pretty big and nasty board. We can basically OTK going second, like under Nibiru, and going first, uh, we can do uh, some cool stuff. So, we're going to use the effect of Sun Mu on the three visits, which actually has like a really cool like synergy in a way. You can search a monster directly from your deck to your hand, and then in a separate chain link, three visit will trigger, allowing you to special summon an ancient warrior monster from your hand. So. In a way, it's like kind of a way to special summon directly from uh, from your deck. So that's kind of sick. So you're going to make uh, the ancient generals, uh, ally generals, and then you're going to be able to search any ancient warrior cards. So here I'm just searching like whatever, but you can actually search the Zhang Dei or whatever, the, the guy that actually special summons itself when you have two or more uh, ancient warrior monsters. But there's just, I guess there's no reason, but whatever. I just searched this continuous spell. Uh, I suppose also for no reason, but we can do some cool uh, plays here. So, as you can see, I mean, this is literally the worst example of monsters. I did it on purpose, but so we can use the quick effect bounce of Shuang Long, and then we can bounce back whatever monster, and then Sun Mu will actually trigger since we actually use the effect of an ancient warrior monster, and then we can bounce back another monster. Uh, so that's actually sick. You actually get two bounces just with like two cards because this guy is actually a really good card to just keep on the field you don't necessarily want to link it off so that's uh, one thing that you can uh, consider and also there was another like way to play this one out it would be to use Sun Mu and uh, this guy uh, Guan Yun to make the ally generals and then keep uh, Zuch Kong on the field and then you actually have like an, uh, like an ancient uh, warrior spell like face up on the field that you can actually use to negate a spell or trap with Zuch Kong and then you can actually send Zuch Kong or any other card from your hand or face up field or I mean field from your uh, field to the grave and then use uh, like the quick effect bounce of Shuang Long so that's also like pretty good but yeah just two cards gets you two interruptions but that was still like the like this like the 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 not uh, too great uh, part so this is gonna get infinitely better all right so now tank you with three visits it's infinitely better because now you actually get to you actually have like an extra card that you can use because tanky actually stays on the field and continuous spells in this deck are like broken so obviously you're gonna search Sun Mu again you're gonna search for Zuch Kong special summon it all right, then you're actually gonna get rid of Tenki, not three visits for once, because you're actually gonna search Zheng Dei, and it special summons itself anyway, so who cares? Uh, you're gonna make Shuang Long, then search Sun Mu. Actually, this is really cool. Uh, searching Sun Mu actually does something here. Uh, he's gonna use Extravagance, like I said. The Zuch Kong can actually just negate, and now this is actually where the cool part. Uh, comes in clutch so you can actually uh, like get rid of three visits during your opponent's turn and special summon Sun Mu during their turn and then whenever you use the effect of uh, Shuang Long you can actually get the two bounces uh, as well so it's basically just like an improved version of the combo that I just showcased it's the same thing basically but with like an extra negate so yeah anyways let's get to the wait hold on I think I have like one other like normal combo to show and then like the really insane part so yeah 
Oh, never mind. This combo is actually really, really insane as well. So, uh, once again, it's going to be basically almost the same thing, but with just like one extra monster. And we're actually going to use Zugong as well. Like th this time, uh, this card is actually really relevant because since we have Tenki, we can actually get a free like uh, three visits from our deck to our hand or the other card, but I, I don't really like it. And also the trap is ho horrible. So once again, Zuchkong special, get rid of three visits. We're going to special summon Zugong now. And we're going to use the effect of send Tenki, get three visits, and you also have Zeng Dei, which can special summon itself. But if you realize something, is that we actually have two level four water monsters on the field, so you can already see where this is gonna go. But unfortunately, this is the part that actually annoys me a lot. You are forced to summon Zeng Dei here, so you are at four summons. So if you make Bahamut Shark, you actually lose to Nibiru, and if you make the Link Two, well, I mean, you still lose to Nibiru, but. Yeah, like you're just a loser because you are forced to summon Zeng Dei here. You can't just go Bahamut first because then you only have one Ancient Warrior on the field. So it's it's unfortunate. I like having like Toad as my fifth summon, but can't always have everything. So yeah, Bahamut, summon Toad, and then make the Link 2. You're going to be able to search. Uh, ooh, this card is also really, really good. Uh, what's the name again? Fearsome Zeng Yuan. Jeez, I'm so bad with this. But yeah, it's uh, actually going to be crazy. There is a way you can actually pop with this card as well. Uh, as long as Toad doesn't negate like a spell or trap that... Uh, I mean, it doesn't negate like the activation of a spell or trap because that wouldn't be considered like a card your opponent controls. It's just a card in their possession. Unless like the card is already face up, so... Uh, he's gonna summon two monsters. I'm gonna bounce everything with uh, Zuchkong. And then I'm going to special summon my Zhang Yuan. Alright, and now he's gonna use the effect of a, like a monster, so a, a, like activated effect of a card already on the field. We're gonna negate it with Toad. The card doesn't actually have to be sent to the grave, and then Zhuang Yuan is gonna trigger. So, I mean, whatever. We can even set the alternative, which is cute. And then we're going to be able to like pop another card, so... That's actually like the, the cool thing that you can do. And also this, in a way, protects your Shuang Long, which is also relevant. So... Yeah, I mean, we were easily able to make Toad with uh, the quick effect bounce and like a pop as well. It's kind of reactive. It does depend on like how your Toad can negate. But like, look, just look at the amount of like resources that you're getting. And also you can uh, recycle back the Toad back with Bahamut Shark. I mean, with the effect and then next turn you summon it again because I mean, unfortunately Toad is only uh, at one now. But yeah, and also you, you actually get like disgusting syner- um, Sorry, follow-ups in this deck. Absolutely ridiculous. So now I'm gonna search the guy that does absolutely nothing uh, proactively. Special summon it. We even have this, I mean, just as insult to injury. Now when an Ancient Warriors attack, you actually get to draw one card with uh, Liu Xuan, so... Really sick, and it's just it's so easy to kill your opponent. Like, the follow-ups are insane, it's just ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, now let's just go for the only combo in the deck that is actually a going second deck that I wanted to showcase. Because I feel like the it's it, like this deck it goes second way too easily. This is why I wanted to essentially is like showcase going first combos. So yeah, this this one is gonna be a bomb. All right, so yeah, yeah I mean I, our opponent is gonna summon like four monsters just to make the combo slightly harder. I wanted to make sure that the monsters were all in defense. Otherwise, if there is like a monster in attack, it's too easy to OTK because then you can start using World Sword and Utopia Double. But I wanted, like, the challenge to be insane, so I'm drawing basically Tanky with two, like, two cards. Just two, Tanky and two cards. You can even kill your opponent with triple Tanky, so, like, a card that's once per turn. Basically, you get what I'm saying? Like, Tanky and, like, two horrible cards, and you still win the game, because those cards are just, like, kind of discards. And they can also already be on your field. You can, like, mind control your opponent and start doing some sick plays. It's just ridiculous. As long as you have cards to send, that's the only payment you need. And um, if you don't have Tenki and you have like the monster that I'm about to search, then it doesn't change much. No, I mean, it, no, it, it actually does change uh, quite a bit. You, you do need a continuous spell for this combo to work. But four monsters or five monsters, you should be able to OTK your opponent uh, very easily, actually. Even five monsters really doesn't change anything or six monsters. Extremely easy. And if the monsters are in attack, then you deal even more damage. It's crazy. So... Tenki gonna search finally for a monster that we can use, so Liu Zhuan, so 
This card actually has the best effect in the entire Ancient Warriors deck, but unfortunately it's only usable going second. Going first just it literally has no effect. Outside of like the passive, uh, your opponent cannot target like this for attacks if you control another Ancient Warrior monster, but that's irrelevant. So you're going to send like a card uh, from your hand or like the, the other like cards on your field to the grave, not the Tenki, because the Tenki you want to send it with Zugang. So you're going to be doing that, send the Tenki get the three visits and now you're going to use three visits before you actually do any other play because now you have your wind monster so you are actually finally allowed to make the ally generals the link monster shuang long and you're going to get double searches so that's actually really sick so two searches you're gonna search for sun mu and zeng Dei. you're going to now nah, this is actually one of my favorite parts you're going to be using shuang long during your own turn sending the three visits to bounce back any face-up card your opponent controls and then the three visits is going to actually just work as a combo like extender so you're going to be summoning the sun mu just i love this part so much you're going to be sending your third card like i mean your second discard card and search for uh, zeng wan and then uh, obviously uh, zeng Dei can be summoned uh, now that you actually used activated the effect of an ancient warrior monster, you are allowed to bounce back a monster with Sun Mu. By the way, just just letting you know, if you have a kaiju, you can literally bounce that kaiju and kaiju your opponent three times because you can bounce it twice with uh, Shuang Long and with Sun Mu. And also another interesting thing is that if your opponent had five monsters here, you wouldn't actually use the effect of Sun Mu, but instead you would actually just just not not, not use it and then use the effect of Zeng Dei to uh, be able to declare two attacks on monsters and then you um you would actually uh use sun mu as like after the resolution of zeng Dei to bounce back a monster and then zeng Dei can attack twice and then you summon uh, uh zeng zeng wine and you have game so basically when you actually uh like battle now uh, that, that's what uh, that's where we're gonna it's gonna come up so we're going to attack, and then I just realized... Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I did attack with Shuang Long before. So yeah, just look at the amount of damage this is. It's absolutely crazy. And ironically, if your opponent has even more monsters, then it's even more damage. Because Zhang Dei can attack twice, and it gains like an insane amount of attack. Especially when you have Shuang Long on the field, because all of your Ancient Warrior monsters gain 500 attack and defense. And also, the battling monster, um, when you are revealing Zhang Wan, actually loses 1,000 attack and defense. And you destroy another monster, so... Or another card. I forgot if it was destroy a monster or destroy a card. You can... Oh yeah, if your card your opponent controls is destroyed by battle by card effect, you can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Absolutely ridiculous. And there's also another card that you can actually trigger when you actually destroy one of your opponent's monsters. I think it's like the level 8 fire guy. The, basically the boss monster of the deck. So... This guy is kind of like a Goyo Guardian. When you destroy opponent's monster by battle, you can actually just steal it. Like, it goes to your field, but yeah, just look at uh, look at this insanity. Just with Tenki and two discards, your opponent is going to die. So, absolutely beautiful. I just love this deck so much. I'm obviously going to be showcasing the deck profile tomorrow and the test hand video. Uh, should be Thursday, I believe, so... Uh, yeah, definitely uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these. And that's pretty much all I had to say. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all yet next time. <laughs> Holy shit, this was so bad. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>